Hi guys. Well, <laughs> it is uh, it, it is now Wednesday evening, January 6, twenty twenty one, and what 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 can I, Sam Mitchell of Collapse Chronicles, uh, add add to this? You, you know, I am not going to uh, sit here and get into my personal opinions uh, on Donald Trump or Joe Biden. Uh, you know, I, 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 I don't care for either of these men. My opinion of Donald Trump or Joe Biden uh, has nothing to do with anything on this channel. I am simply uh, coming... I am the chronicler of the collapse of global industrial civilization and a, a planet. Uh, and obviously, I cannot let January 6, 2021, it, it will go down in history uh, in the collapsology uh field this today what was a turning point guys it, it 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 makes no difference at this point what your opinion of Donald Trump or Joe Biden is okay i don't give a shit what my opinion or your opinion is this is the collapse of society in real time, unfolding in front of our eyes. Mad Max has been unleashed on this planet. If there's anybody at this point, anybody at this point, Trump supporter, Biden supporter, uh, I, I love all the cops wearing masks, uh, mask Nazi, anti-master, it has nothing to do with it uh, at, at this point. I am simply looking at this. Is, is there anybody denying that we have hit, I don't know if this is a, even whether you consider this a new low or a new high. Uh, th this is one of the defining moments of the 21st century. We have entered Mad Max in the United States <laughs> Capitol building, the U.S. Capitol building. Mad Max has been unleashed. The United States of America is now a banana republic. It is a third world country. We are the laughing stock of the planet. Whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing, and I'm on the fence about that, we are the laughing stock of the planet. And we will be uh, for, forever. The, U, the U.S. as an empire has, uh, has pretty much collapsed today. Uh, whether you uh, blame this on Donald Trump or not, uh, the U.S. empire is, is closer to collapse than it has ever been since, uh, since 1776. We have gone down the toilet as an empire. Uh, again, whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing is irrelevant. I am looking at this through the eyes of a collapsitarian, and 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 this, uh, this right here is it, right here. These photos in real time from our nation's capital are are, are proof that we are in a new era. There is no turning back after today. There is no turning back. 
read my lips. Uh, look at this guy. Uh, read my lips. If this man right here made it into the U.S. Capitol building without the cops being able to stop them, uh, the, the, uh, the monkeys have overrun the zoo. Uh, this, this is absolute, in-your-face, proof positive that law enforcement is not going to be able to stand up to the, uh, to, to the masses when, uh, when, 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 I mean, it has been from, from this point forward with this display that any, uh, in now any group on this planet, uh, th th this is what you need to do to, uh, to just to push the cops out of the way. Uh, the cops are completely powerless here. This is not uh, Lagos, Nigeria. This is Washington, D.C., uh, anybody telling me from this point forward that, that I am some sort of drama queen, some sort of doomer, uh, if, 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 if I am a doomer because I, this is exactly what I have been predicting, uh, for the last 10 years and, and, and what everybody uh, not everybody, but the vast majority of people I have interviewed, this is exactly what we have been talking about. Not, uh, not one image on here surprises me. I, you know, e e even on NPR, I, I couldn't believe it. Where I can't, I can't remember which, which uh, NPR uh, person was saying this that these images are shocking but they're not one bit surprising. Even NPR understands it. The, the shocking images are not the least bit surprising to anybody who uh, ha has been following what, what is unfolding. And, uh, and, and, and this, uh, you know, has the full support uh, of the President of the United States. And apparently 75 million Americans uh, are 100% are supporting Mad Max right now. And, and of course... You know, we don't even need to add in uh, the distraction that this is going uh, that this is is going to bring. I mean, it's going to make the c word finally. The c word will barely be mentioned on the mainstream media tomorrow. You will uh, the the for the first time. And in how many months, my guess is you will not see the C word anywhere in the top 10, uh, in the top 10 stories on planet Earth uh, tomorrow on, on, on January 7th. Uh, this is, as I say, it, it, it is absolutely jaw-dropping on one hand and on the other. There is not one bit of surprise to anybody who has been following this subject uh, of, of where we are going uh, as an empire in this country, uh, as a society, as a civilization. We have... We have reached, uh, again, uh, depending on your point of view, this is one of the darkest days in the history of this country. Th this will be a, a turning point. This will be right up there with July 4th, 1776, if there's anybody around to ever write history books of the 21st century. Uh, this, this is a hell of a lot bigger than the C word. This is the day that Mad Max, uh, that Mad Max 
took over the U.S. Capitol building, Washington, D.C., the American empire, the, quote, free world, and the planet. We are fully enmeshed in the Twilight Zone. There is no way that Rod Serling even could have. That looks just like a friend of mine from Austin. Nathan, is that you? And uh, there you go. Whether you think that is the face of evil, there he is. My, my, doesn't Mike Pence uh, made Mike Pence's job easier? Uh, anyway, guys, there you go. There's the new face. I can't believe the first time I've seen that. I've never seen that man's mouth before in my entire life. Oh, yes. Don't you love that haughty little news reporter? Uh, check it out. A muzzled news reporter. Unbelievable and not one bit of a surprise. Get out there and enjoy uh, Mad Max while you still can. I have got to uh, freshen my margarita. You go, Santa Claus. Santa Claus versus the riot police. Party on! Bye, guys.